regard. And uh, so it's just this west side highway, this one major street that runs up the west side of Manhattan that makes it accessible to the fire engine. And, you know, it's amazing to sit here and watch this building on fire, and you've got this tiny uh, little fire engine that I'm watching. That's all you see right now is the, the, the one well, fire engine? The, where the uh, the fire engines are, it's a little bit obscured by other buildings. Right. Jean, let me ask you, I, I know I'm asking you to be a bit of an expert on the World Trade Center, but there's a famous viewing deck for uh, tourists mm -hmm. on one of the towers. When you say that this is uh, the North Tower, is this the one that services a lot of the tourists to get their view and get to the restaurant at the top? As a matter of fact, it is. And uh, there's a, as I'm sure you can see, uh, there's a ton of smoke coming out right now. Um, I'm just guessing the, uh, the fire seems to be worse on, uh, it, it looks like it's about 15 floors down from the top of the building. Yeah, one of the eyewitnesses, one of our affiliates, uh, was talking to said that she thought that this was on the 80th floor. We know that there's an open air deck uh, 110 stories high and the mm -hmm. uh, glass enclosed observatory is on the 107th floor. So there is the possibility that people may very well be trapped up there. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Jean Yearman. You're very welcome. I witnessed here to uh, a loud sonic boom. She described that she was sitting inside her apartment and she looked up and saw the side of the World Trade Center exploded into flames and black smoke. We're going to join one of, another one of our New York affiliates, WABC, for their flight coverage. Overhead, and then all of a sudden, I, I kind of laugh, um, louder that I looked up, and all of a sudden it smashed right dead into the center of the World Trade Center. coming out from all over, then all the, uh, the bricks, the huge hole right now, uh, it almost like the plane probably went through, I'm not sure. Quincy, can you see, are you on the north side there where the, the plane made uh, contact? Yes, I am. Now, when you say a huge hole, uh, one of our earlier witnesses, uh -huh. Libby Clark, said not much of the plane came down off the building. Much no, it went totally into the building. Is he in the building, then, from what you can see? Right. Now, yeah. can you see if there's a lot of debris downstairs, Winston? Um, no, because it looked like it, it inverted with the impact. Everything went inside the building. Inside. Um, the only thing that came out was a little bit of the uh, the outside awning. But I'd say the huge, the hole is, let me just get a better look right now. Okay, go ahead. The, uh, I'd say the hole takes about, looks like six, seven floors were taken out. That is one of the explosions right now. Hold on, people are running. Hold on. Hold on just a moment. We've got an explosion inside. The building's exploding right now. You've got people running up the street. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Okay, just uh, put, put Winston on pause there for just a moment. Okay, the whole building just exploded some more. The whole top part. Okay. The building's still intact. People are running up the street. Uh, am but, I still connected? Winston, this would support probably what Libby and you both said that perhaps the fuselage was in the building that would cause a second explosion such as that. That's what just happened then. That would, that certainly... Yeah, people are running up. Um, I, we're getting word that perhaps... Okay, hold on, the, the people here are, everybody's panicking. All right, but Winston, you know, Winston, let me put Winston on hold for just a moment. Okay, I don't know how much longer we're staying. I'm inside of a diner right now. Well, Winston, you know what? If you could give us a call back, I just don't want to panic here on the air. Let's just uh, take some of our pictures from News Chopper 7. Now, one of our producers said perhaps a second plane was involved. And let's not let's not even speculate at that point, but at least put it out there that perhaps that may have happened. Uh, the second explosion would certainly back the theory from a couple of eyewitnesses that the plane fuselage perhaps stayed in those upper buildings. Now, if you look at the second building, there are two that both Twin Towers now are on fire. Now, this was not the case, am I correct, a couple of moments ago. This is the second Twin Tower now on fire, and we're going to check on the second flight if perhaps that had happened. This all began at about 8.48 this morning. Again, what we know, in case you're just joining us, a small plane, not a Cessna type or five or six seater, but instead perhaps a passenger flight ran into the north side of the World Trade Center. As you can see, the, the second explosion that you're looking at now, the second Twin Tower, it has spread much debris, much more debris than the first explosion or the first accident. Uh, if there is, if, is Winston still on the line with us? 
Okay, he's not there, but um, do we have, I'll just talk to my producer, do we have a, an eyewitness that perhaps sees better than we do from these pictures? Again, you can see that there is debris falling off. Come on. Okay, we actually have an eyewitness for his reporter, Dr. Jay Adlersberg, who is downtown at the time, and he is on the phone with us live. Dr. Jay, what can you tell us? Hello, Steve. Um, I'm actually uptown at 86 then Riverside. I can see the World Trade Center from about half the building um, uh, up to the top. And about five minutes ago, as I was watching the smoke, um, a small plane, I... It looked like a propeller plane came in from the west and um, uh, about 20 or 25 stories below the top of the center. It disappeared for a, a second and then exploded um, uh, behind a water tower, so I couldn't tell whether it hit the building or not. But it was very visible that a plane had come in uh, at a low altitude and okay. appeared to crash into the uh, World Trade Center. Dr. J, we're going to take a look at videotape just moments ago of the second plane hitting the World Trade Center. That is spectacular pictures. I don't know if you, you could see the plane, and that too was a passenger plane, if perhaps some type of navigating system or some type of electronics would have put two planes into the World Trade Center within... It looks like about 18 minutes of each other. You want to go to? We have another copy. There is the second plane, another passenger plane hitting the World Trade Center. These pictures are frightening indeed. These are just minutes between each other. So naturally, you will guess and you will speculate and perhaps ask the question, if some type of navigating equipment is awry, the two commuter planes would run into the World Trade Centers at the same time. Our director, you're speaking in my ear at this point. You are looking at live pictures right now of the World Trade Centers. Again, we now have two passenger planes within 18 minutes of each other smashing into the World Trade Centers. Dr. J, are you still with us on the phone? I'm still with you, Steve. Dr. J, this is just frightening pictures indeed, and, and I would assume, or you would naturally think that when you've been listening to some of the coverage provided for us by our affiliate WABC out of New York City, let's go now and check our other affiliate WNBC to get the latest, I'm sorry, WNYW, WNYW here, live coverage here of this amazing picture we're getting from Lower Manhattan, two planes, one hitting each of the Twin Towers at the World Trade Center. So they come by and they say, what happened, what happened? And you just got to say, something hit the building, and then something hit both buildings. Well, we, uh, we, we saw clearly, uh, we didn't see the first one, but we saw clearly that a plane uh, deliberately crashed into the, one of the upper floors of the World Trade Center. That was the second plane. So two planes uh, crashed into the uh, upper floors of each of the World Trade Center towers. Uh, just, uh, I understand now that uh, Port Authority headquarters are in uh, one of those buildings somewhere near that location. Uh, Jim, I, I yeah. don't know whether we've confirmed that this was an aircraft or, to be more specific, some people said they thought they saw a missile. Well, I don't know how people could dis dis differentiate, but we might be open the possibility that this was a missile attack mm -hmm. uh, on the building. Uh, oh, yeah, I must say that... Uh, we have an eyewitness who said it was a large plane that crashed first. And then as, as we were watching the live picture here in the studio, we saw a plane crash into the crash into the other tower of the World Trade Center. And again, let's uh, just to be sure, th there it is. There it is. The plane went right through the other tower of the World Trade Center. That is a very hard thing to watch. These are incredible pictures that we're watching this morning. These thanks to our affiliate WNYW in New York. You are looking at this at this picture. It is the Twin Towers, the World Trade Center. Both of them being damaged by impacts from planes. We saw one happen at about maybe nine minutes before the top of the hour, and just moments ago, so maybe 18 minutes after the first impact, the second tower was impacted with a by another what appeared to be another passenger plane. Uh, in fact, we've got some tape replay of that. Do we have the tape available right now? Here's the plate. Here's the tape. You see the plane coming in from what looks like the 
east side, and it blows into the building with the flames and the smoke billowing out the other side of the tower. It's hard for me to tell exactly which is the north side and which is the south side, but it appears it's coming out of the north side there.